Hello everyone, Perry Scooter here, and welcome back to Pokemon Y, the Fairy Monotype Challenge. Last time we cleared out the Pokeball Factory, and now we may continue on our merry way on our adventure. I'll talk to you finally. Oh. Yeah, I did Dene. Anyway, so that's... Okay, that's if I get to show this off. <laughs> So this is what happens when um when you when these people who want a specific type of Pokemon you show them something they give you a little gift nothing that will horribly impact the outcome of a battle for you but something that will help along the way. You can read the memories. Huh. Well. I'm sure we will never have to deal with such a man. Nope, not ever. Huh. So I'm hearing this music for the first time, I think, actually. I never have heard this before because, simply put, again, I have my sound usually off when I play these kind of games. Anyway. We get to walk through piles, but be careful when walking through certain piles because I think there are trainers hiding in some piles of these leaves. Exercise caution. Also, exercise spooky spirits. But mostly exercise caution because, well, I'm pretty much dead. All right. Well, with that being said, let's um. You know, we'll bring you back out. We'll make you our front runner. Our our big man, big show on campus, big boss, big Barry, lep up Barry. I don't remember what those do. Woohoo! But yeah, be careful running through some leaf pile because this can happen. And it looks like my training for Dedenne has finally paid off. Good lord. I guess I am kind of avoiding battles in grass and whatnot. I don't know, consider it a coward's kind of thing, but... I don't want to overlevel, but I would like to keep the experience share on at the same time. Hi. I'm really hopeful that I actually get start getting some of the moves that I need in my repertoire, so to say. So that way I don't have to switch out when I need a fairy move emer in an emergency. Oh, hi again.
No, I'm not actually from TV. I'm here... I'm here to save Polka Mankind. What do you think I'm here to do? Interview? Tell the world about how great you think you and your Pokemon are? No, I'm here to save the world. One poison Pokemon at a time. I almost forgot. Sorry! Actually, while I'm here, we'll do a, we'll do a, 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 quick, a bit of spy healing and then we'll get the uh, antidote rolling. Oh. You know, for how little, for how much I've seen poison Pokemon, I'm actually surprised I haven't gotten poisoned as much as I should be at this point. Oh yes, these ruined places. Oh, also these ladies. Who is in my one two? Perfect. So this is an odd combo that's going to start appearing every now and again. Also, I think I'm going to run down the river here, uh, run down the riverside in a second here. But this is a weird one-two combo that shows up a lot at this stage of the game, where it's somebody who uses fairy types paired with somebody who uses ghosts or psychic types. They like to use this combo a lot, so be wary if you're doing a something like me My doubles team battle duet of <laughs> a health stealing electric mouse and a tank of a bird perfume thing. <laughs> it makes sense, my head, don't worry. Now, let's see. Um, actually, while I'm here, I guess I could go over some of these healths. Well, I don't need to PP up anything. I'll save the PP up for something else later, but iron. Increases the defense stat. Uh, we'll give that to you. So here's another way to increase uh, uh, other various stats on Pokemon. Oh, that's actually all I have. Well, HP up goes to Azumarill. There we go. Now we're all done. So yeah. Oh, whoops. I forgot to get my Repel. But yeah. My interesting combo. Actually, you know what? Wait. Uh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. I wanted to sort everything. I guess I have to poke the thing in the corner. Sort by name. Cool. Now I can quickly find my super repels. And now you know the sort how the sorting system works. Knowledge is power. G.I. Joe. Let's go get some stuff. Oh. Whee! I'm a stepping stone. <laughs> we. I'm a stepping stone. Yep. Those are words. Okay, I think we're barred from going any further downwards, so. Man, I, I really like this, I like this music in this area a lot, and it's accompanying music. Now, I think this is rot, Brick Break. I'm not going to worry about Brick Break unless I see something that's like... Unless I see an item that's basically a... Um, well, that might be something later on. Oh, Holoclip. Excellent. What is this one? According to Prof uh, Professor Sycamore's research, Mega Evolution releases all of the Pokémon's hidden energy at once. The Pokémon that exhibits a level of power could not have attained through ordinary evolution. What meaning can we draw from this? Do all p people and Pokémon have such potential, or is it hidden within a chosen few? Okay, you're even more obsessed than the Professor, buddy. I'm gonna need you to calm down. You're at about a five. I need you at a two. I suppose he could be worse. Anyway, I think up here in this area, well, I gotta fight, but I think up here in this area there actually is a team we can get at. Uh.
Gardevoir finally learned a very important move. Psychic. I was actually hoping for to trigger earlier, but what Psychic is, it's basically it is well, the strongest psychic move in the game. The strongest special psychic move in the game at like 90 power? 95 power? Anyway. So the Lost Hotel here. It's a little bit of maze maze-ish area. Full it has a couple it has like Pokemon like Klefki and whatnot, a couple's doubles battles. I'm not gonna explore this too much. Because in order to go even further into this place, you need to be styling. Oh, guess I'm gonna have a battle on here anyway. But yeah, there's a couple of interesting Pokemon down here, and there's also kind of a, um... Oh yeah, Smokeball. There's there's also this kind of fashion system of how cool you are. I, I don't know how to explain it. I have yet to figure out how to get deeper in this place because of the system it's set up, and it has nothing to do with the style linked back to your stat... What status of style you have back in Lumios. No relation whatsoever. So I have yet to figure out how you get into deeper places in there, but... If you guys know how, I guess, put it in the comment section for myself and many others included. Alright, I think we got one more fight here before we get to the next town. Hi! No, little girl, see, I'm the one that's going to teach you the scary side of fairies. Get good, scrub. Anyway, I believe that is, this is our next stop to the right here. We'll come, we'll end up coming back out this way, I believe, in a little bit to head down further. So if I start an episode out here, do know that's where I'm going to be heading is down. But anyway, uh, nah, I don't need any more. Hi. The future is not Team Flare. The future is Mega Evolution. Oh, are we going to Dendamil? I love Dendamil! Yay, Dendamil! I love this place. Hello? Ah, hello. I've uh, been okay. How's your journey going? You see, when I was younger, I visited many different regions as well. I met many kinds of Pokemon and noticed how each place has its own distinct flavor. So really, I came to enjoy trying to find new foods as I traveled. Because of adventures, I'm an expert on the cafes all over Kalos. Uh, dude? Do you remember the, po the Pokemon that Santa mentioned at the, in the cafe? I don't. Whoops. He, he mentioned the Inventor. According to, to material I've read, those two who, those who saw it were overwhelmed by its power. They were able to say that this Pokemon resembled the letter Y. Oh, I wonder what game I'm playing. Apparently, this Pokemon will absorb energy. Its lifespan has said to be a thousand years. When it reaches the end of its life, it steals all of the spirits around it. When Kalos' legendary Pokemon loses all of its vitality, it goes to sleep in a secret place. I don't have a clue as to where it could be. 
The writings that mention it are also a thousand years old, so they aren't much help. Um. Oh, it would be a thrill if you found it out. But it, and your journey is yours and your Pokemon's alone. I want you to enjoy yourself and do whatever you would like. I'm going to meet up with you shortly, aren't I? Oh, hey, Trevor. Oh, sure, he just went that south. Oh, Pokemon in the Frost Cavern, you say? Well, that'll be someplace we'll have to go soon. But first, we have to stop and talk to people in towns. Hello. Yes, they do. And speaking of, I believe you... Ah, uh, yes, the move to leader. So here's how you do... For Here's how you get rid of HM moves, which I'm actually going to get rid of. I, I'm fairly certain we don't need it on Azumarill anymore. We might we might need to reteach Surf to something else later. But for now, we'll forget we'll forget Surf. Hooray! I've forgotten the move Surf, and you. Ah uh, yes, and if you bring this lady a heart scale, she can reteach a move to one of your Pokemon. Now let me see. Um, I think there was one or two moves I could probably reteach to Mawile here. I've got a heart scale on me, so let's see. Okay, that's a that's a ne needed move. That's also a needed move. Now I think. Now let's see. Um, well, in this sense, I would actually need to forget Strength to teach it Iron Head, and then... Oh, you know what? I think it learns it naturally, so... Yes, I will give up on it for now. Actually, I'll do some research on the side while I'm here. I think I do need to hang on to Strength regardless, but... I'm going to look up levels of certain moves that certain Pokemon learn. I should actually do that in between episodes, so... I'll do that in between episodes instead. That way, I don't you don't have to sit here and watch me do things. Ah, windmills teach us the rotation mode. Mammoth swine have lived for ten thousand years. Nice. Ah, the mammoths. And now, well, here's a good view of the windmill if you want windmills. But I believe we need to. Well, we need to go visit several houses here because several people will give us nice things. Hi. Do you have the TM? Uh, I do not. Uh. Okay, I thought you were going to give me the TM for Flamethrower just then. But that's not a facade. This is a facade. Ah, uh, facade. I actually really do love this move. So basically, if you have a Pokemon that is susceptible, that you feel is very susceptible to being poisoned or burned or paralyzed or anything, you can teach a facade, which allows it to, as they said, deal double its normal power when used. And its power, uh, its base power is 70, which isn't anything the cough had to start off with. But if poisoned or burned or anything, it doubles to 140. Basically, it can negate burn. T um, they both can fly, that's about it. Well, I'm more a fan of small ones. Ah, uh, yes, we're talking about something that actually kind of comes up a lot in, in certain variations. Well, something that gets mentioned between, with various Pokemon where they have large and small variations of several attacks. Uh, so if I find 70 or more Mountain Cal... Yeah, whatever. Well... I don't remember what he gives us, to be honest, but I don't think it's anything too spectacular to lose sleep that you would lose sleep over it. Anyway. Now we've done that, uh, I'm trying to be careful because there is a cutscene around here I can trigger. Huh. So when they f when it flows in, they look comfortable. Also, I, I forced... <laughs> I forced Zoomerl to forget Surf, I just remembered. Okay, you know, we'll go here in a little bit. Actually, now I think about it, it's kind of weird. My Zoomerl has no... Oh, hey, Moomoo Milk. Sure, give me a dozen. 
So you get a dozen moon milks. They heal one... If I remember right from the other episode, they heal 100. So... Okay, here's a field over here. And that's the way forward to the right, I believe. So, well, with that being said, let's go back over this way. I think at one point... Can we get in the river, actually, now that I think about it? I don't think we can ever get low enough to get into the river, so... Ooh, big root. This is interesting. I believe it really only applies to, like, Mega, Tra Mega Drain and Giga Drain. I believe it only works on Mega Drain and Giga Drain. Um, but... Well, actually, let's go read it right now, just to confirm my suspicions or not. So, big root. Ah. Well, I think for now, we'll go ahead and give that to... Dedene for the time being, because of Parabolic Charge. So we recover more health off of Parabolic Charge. Which is weird, but... Um... Well, I think that's everything we can do in this town before we can move forward, so... Next time on Pokemon Y, Fairy Monotype Challenge, we'll move forward into... Well, actually, wait. Nope, I didn't talk to anybody here. I almost did my outro. Yay, for thank you for Citrus. But yeah, um, actually, that's something that I didn't think about. There's so, there's a person in... There's, like, somebody in various Pokemon centers that give you a random berry, as well as some other people out on routes. Something in the Frost Cavern. I think I might go over there first. Hey! How's it going, friend? Oh. Alright, Mr. Bonding, just get it over with. Ooh, accuracy power. Now, this actually reminds me of something that somebody commented on a, a little bit ago. Is that O powers can actually also be used upon yourself. Um, let me open this up. Let me see if I can get there. O powers, O, o power. So, ah, here we go. So, yes, you can use O powers on yourself as well. But if you use it on yourself, it takes up more of these things down here, these units of energy. But you also recover that energy just by walking around. So, oh well. So, everyone, next time on Pokemon Y, the Fairy Monotype Challenge, we'll be heading up north, actually, to the Frozen Cave to see what's going on over there. And then we'll loop back around down here and head out, out the west, east side of Dendamil. I will see you folks then.